In this video, I want to take a look at the pivot point and try to understand it better and also the duplicate special tool. So when there is an object in your scene, the point uh, in the center of that object by which it scales and rotates is known as the pivot point. Okay. Now, that pivot point can be moved. So, uh, if you use the home key, I can move that pivot point uh, and therefore manipulate how that object will be rotated in scale. I'm going to jump to a side view with the space bar and I'm going to reposition this pivot point at the base. Now I can kind of eyeball it, or I think I can't hold down C. And notice how this uh, manipulator changes. And I can kind of snap to curve, or uh, I might change it. Uh, try X, or snap to the grid, and since my base is on the grid. Uh, and now when I go and I hit R to scale, it scales from the base instead of the center, or it rotates from the base. Uh, and this is an important principle to understand before we get into duplicate special. So I'm going to hold down X and kind of snap this back. Uh, so as I scale, it, it's now growing from that center, which, which can be useful because if I have an object that I'm trying to position, suppose I'm trying to position this arm here, scaling this on this and then I say hey I, I want that shorter well, I could you know I could scale that down but then I have to move it but what if I uh, go ahead and hit home and move that pivot point to the end here and then hit W and now I can lengthen it without it moving all over the place. Now it moves a little because I did not have my pivot point exactly on, on the edge, but you get, you get the idea of the benefits of being able to move your pivot point. So in your edit menu you have a duplicate special option. Um, and first we're going to need something to duplicate. So I'm going to create a box that has a width of Four, a height of 0.5, and a depth of 2. Uh, kind of like a stair tread is what I'm thinking. All right, now I have an object, and suppose I wanted to make a staircase. Um, if you hit Command D, that will duplicate your object. Now it places it right over the existing one, but I can take the Move tool and I can move this over, and I can do Command D again, and I can pull it up and move it over. And I can even select all three of these and I can command D and I you know if I wanted to build a staircase I could I could do it pr pretty quickly um, but you know it each one may not exactly be correct because I'm kind of eyeballing it here but what I want to show you is how you can automate that process by taking an object and I go into my edit duplicate special option box I'm going to go into edit reset settings and that just clears out anything that might have been there previously. If you notice this um, we make copies of the selected object and the, we can move scale or rotate those after every copy. So I make one copy and this is your X, Y, Z translate. Suppose we want the copy to be um, I think this was 0.5 in height. Let's let's take it up 0.5, and we make one copy and we hit apply, and it just uh, it builds it right above the other one. I must have scaled it down some, but uh, I'm going to undo Command Z, and so we'll do like a 0.49 or something, 0.48. And I think the length of this was two units, so in 
positive z, x, y, z, we want to move it two units. And if we uh, apply that, uh, notice how it it moved it up and then over. Uh, I'm going to undo that again. So now let's let's make 50 copies and apply. And you, I got an error there uh, because I don't have anything selected. So you have to have your object selected first and then apply. And that's the idea behind du duplicate special. And it's moving exactly up 0.48 and then over uh, 2. And then this one says, okay, what do I do? When I'm making my copy, I move up and over 0.2. And then this copy says the same thing. It goes through iteratively for uh, 50 copies. And, you know, suppose, uh, you know, when I did that, I went over uh, two units. Suppose I go over one unit and uh, apply. And now I have a little bit of overlap with each step. So you have a lot of power really quickly, uh, which which is kind of cool. Uh, now, once you get into the rotate, I'm going to undo. Things get really interesting. Um, so if I let's uh, move this pivot point away from it. Well, first, first of all, when I rotate, because the pivot point's here, you notice how it rotates from that corner. I want to undo. But if I, I move my pivot point, uh, let's, let's move it around here somewhere, and uh, I'm going to put it in the center of this instead of on the edge here. So I'm going to hit X and just go over one, kind of snap. So now the pivot point moves about uh, going around this spot. And I'm going to take this and hold down X and take that pivot point. Snap that to the origin. I'm getting used to my screencaster. I'm going to have to set some settings. I don't like how I want to hold the button down. It keeps repeating there. But please forgive the distraction for now, and I'll, I'll fix that later. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and zero out this Y rotation. And I guess you guys probably know where I'm going with this. Um, so before our stairway went straight, So, but what if we... We still want to go up uh, 0.48 every time, but we don't we don't want to go in the uh, the z direction. We just want it to rotate in a circle. So e each iteration, let's let's see what happens if we go five units. We'll just do uh, one copy and apply, and that's not really long enough for a step. So I'm gonna undo. Now let's try 15 degrees apply and that's a little too far so let's do something in between let's try 12 and let me back up here that, that looks good so uh, this would be how you would make a, a a spiral staircase and how close I am to that pivot point would it will determine kind of the hole between the spiral staircase so I could go up and do a hundred and uh, you see really quickly what duplicate special can do. I want to demonstrate how you can use this rotate function to create like a double helix molecule. So I, I'm going to create I'm going to F to frame and I'm going to scale this down and pull it up and hit R to move this temporarily. Hit uh, I'm sorry E to scale, and I'm going to go ahead and type in 90 degrees here. Then I'm going to scale down a, a ball here. And then I'm going to uh, 
Now let's look in the side view just to make sure. And I'm going to hit 4 so I can see wireframe. I want this to uh, be at the end of this exactly. So there I hit Command D and to make a copy and put one here. I'm going to take all these together and do a Command G to group. And when I do that, uh, it's going to put the pivot point in the center. Now we haven't talked about groups yet. I'll go ahead and show you that within your uh, outliner window, and the outliner shows all of the objects in the scene. Ignore, it has your cameras and your default light sets, but uh, anytime you create a primitive object, it's going to put it in your outliner. So we had uh, the poly cylinder, the poly sphere, and the other poly sphere, and I put them in a in a group node. So I can select this group node and this group node also has its own translates, rotate, and scale which are independent of these. So I'm going to take this group and uh, I'm just going to scale it up a little bit maybe and uh, and if I select a, a part of that group, notice I'm selecting just the group and I hit the up arrow key it'll go to the top of that group. All right, with the group selected I want to do a duplicate special but this time I want it to go up probably an entire unit, probably a unit and a half 1.5 and I'm just going to test that. First let's let's reset my settings and see what 1.5 looks like and I'm in the side view. Uh, so I apply and that's a little too far undo that and maybe try uh, 1.2 and apply and that's better um, and this time I want it to rotate in it in the center uh, about the x-axis like this probably about five degrees so I'm going to jump back tap the space bar go back here and I want to see how probably something like that so I look and see hey oh that was actually 16 degrees and uh, so I'm going to undo all right and uh, so now I want to go and I'm going with every iteration 1.2 uh, this time I want it to rotate uh, 16 in Y and I'll make you know 20 iterations and I apply that and I'm going to get some sort of like double helix going on and it's taking this whole dumbbell I'm not doing just the pipe or the cylinder I'm going I'm duplicating the whole group and uh, so that's kind of doing something with scale I could take this whole thing and group it and the pivot points at the bottom suppose I wanted to make a fan sort of thing I could say I, I want three more copies and this time I'm rotating about uh, what is that the z-axis and so let's reset I want three and let's do uh, kind of a 90 degrees apply so now now it's taking this whole structure and rotating it in kind of a flower shape so just showing you some things that you can do with the rotate part